Hi everybody, hi again. Um, so, okay, I am reading this book called The Parable of the Sower by Octavia Butler. And it is about a young, young girl who is such an empath. And it's crazy, it's written as if it's a journal. And I love books like this. Um, it's so far it's fantastic and I know that a lot of empaths will really appreciate this book and I haven't even read the whole thing yet like this is what I'm 73 pages into it um, but it's just really interesting to read a book that's written from inside the mind of an empath. Anyways, she does talk a lot about God in the book. And I just, for some reason, felt compelled to flip open to a random page and read something for you guys and then maybe speak on it, okay? And this is a powerful quote. So powerful, in fact, that they put it on the back of the book. But they took out the God part to put it on the back of the book. Interesting. Anyways, I'll read it to you. All that you touch, you change. All that you change, changes you. The only lasting truth is change. God is change. What are your thoughts on this? I'm curious. Let me know down in the comments down below what your thoughts are on change. Okay, sorry guys, I ran out of storage space. <laughs> Had to delete some stuff, but um, okay, back in the zone. So yeah, it's just, it's um, there's that quote too, that the only constant is change. Things are always moving and shifting and ebbing and flowing and rising and falling and uh, breaking and becoming and everything is constantly in motion and in flux and and so are we. Like I read somewhere that after seven years, you've got essentially a whole new body because every cell in your body has has uh not regenerated but like died and recreated itself gone through a rebirth re rebirthing process i'm not a biologist look it up <laughs> but it's just interesting to think about that because everything is always changing we are always changing even if our situation is not changing physically on the outside we are changing on the inside and I also want to emphasize this part at the beginning all that you touch you change all that you change changes you think about this all that you touch you change. Everything in your life that you interact with, you change on some level. You influence on some level. So that line alone calls us to be conscious in life. Because think about it. If, if everything that you touch, you change, and this isn't just physical touch. This is everything that you, you speak words at or about everything that you emotionally interact with, everything, like everything, everything that you touch, you change. Everything that you interact with, you influence. Makes you really think about how you show up in your life. How are you influencing your environment? How are you influencing the people that you encounter? 
How are you treating the food that you are ingesting? How are you interacting with and influencing the material things in your life? Are they being respected or are they being treated as throwaway things? All that you change changes you. And we can see this, like we've all been there where we said something that we maybe shouldn't have said and that changes the person that we're speaking to. And when we sense and feel the change in that other person, it changes us. There's always a boomerang effect. However we show up in our reality is reflected back to us. All that you touch, you change. All that you change, changes you. So it calls us to intentionally show up, consciously show up in our life. What kind of conversations are you having? Everything that your words touch changes the outside. Every change that you make in the outside comes back and changes you. If you were to have every word and action that you put out there come back to you, what kind of life would you have? I didn't expect to go this deep with this. This is, it's just happening. <laughs> but this is like right in line with what we've been talking about here on this channel is like this kind of call to an intentional and conscious life strips away any notion that we are victims, strips away any notion that life is happening to us. We are getting a reflection of what we put out. What you reap, you sow. On so many levels, on so many levels. So, okay, for some reason I'm just thinking about um, even something as simple as paying a bill. Okay, think about the energy you are sending out with that money, physical or electronic money. Are you sending it out and with the energy and the thought of, frick, I, didn't wish, I wish I didn't have to pay this. Now, you know, now I'm less this money. Now I am, you know, whatever the anxieties might be. If that's the energy that you're sending out, you will get a reflection of that back in some kind of circumstance if you're if you're sending money out with the energy of lack you will receive more lack whereas we could intentionally anytime we pay a bill send it out with gratitude so happy and grateful that i have the money to cover this bill right now so happy and grateful that everything that i put out comes back to me tenfold however you want to put it it's the way we do the little things in life that really matters and that really creates momentum and instructs our universe on how we want to experience life The way we do, and this is another cliche, the way we do one thing is the way we do everything. So if the way you pay your bills is in angst, 
there's no doubt about it that you're doing a lot of other things in your life in angst as well and vice versa if you're doing it in gratitude chances are you're doing a lot of other little things in life in gratitude as well and that you're living a little bit happier of a life than if you're doing everything in angst and this is this is just a call and a remembrance that we are choosing our experience of life so you can today start to tweak the way that you do things and i'm a living breathing testament to this i used to be in i used to have panic attacks two to three times a week back in the day i was angsty about everything i was unsure about much in my life and i kept receiving reflections of that insecurity and that anxiety which compounded everything my personal testimony my life started getting on a real steep real fast uptick when i started becoming more conscious and intentional with the way i handled all of the little decisions in my life and having this idea of the person I wanted to be and really becoming aware of everything that I was doing in life. I'm not perfect. I wasn't doing a perfect job. But the more aware I became of all of the little decisions I was making in my life and the more intentional I got about those things. So literally before I made a decision, would this be old anxiety ridden Vanessa making this decision? Or would this be new, peaceful, calm, grounded Vanessa making this decision? Making the decision that way. The more I made decisions from a peaceful, calm, grounded place, the more peaceful, calm, and grounded my life became. And is still becoming because we're constantly shaping our lives. We are in co-creation with God, with our universe, constantly, whether we're conscious of this or not. So you're either co-creating unconsciously and creating more unconsciousness, or you're co-creating consciously and creating more consciousness and accessing more expanded levels of consciousness. You get to pick. We were still given free will here. Not sure why I'm doing this with my hands, but whatever, you get the, the visual. Mm -hmm. We have free will here. We get to choose and I will never forget this this little um, little snippet that my friend Thomas said to me okay the light of God is always shining the sunlight of the spirit is always shining it's constantly shining through the window but we with our free will are in charge of the curtain we can choose to completely shut ourselves off from the light of the spirit, the, shun, the sunshine of the spirit. Or we can choose to open that curtain and let it shine in on us. So what are you choosing today? What are you choosing today? Right now? when you get, when this video shuts off, what are you gonna choose? Because it is a choice. Let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a like if you liked it. Share it if you feel so called and subscribe down below if you want more videos like this. 
I don't know where all that just came from, but about digging it, I'm digging it, digging this new energy, digging the new vibe. Sending you guys tons and tons of love, all the love and the jazz hands, <laughs> and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.